Then Lil Ross with a guy ain't too fine. I just got a new nine. I just pulled two fives. You ain't gotta worry about me. I'ma do fine. Then Lil Rocky, tell me how you grind. Never look. What's happening, bro, Chachis? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I've redecorated the place the new and improved man cave for 2021. I'm coming for you. I just wanna take a moment to thank everyone that's wished me a speedy recovery. If you haven't checked out the video, you can do so right here. The other day while riding a little skate park, I banged up my knee pretty good on a tail whip. So I'm gonna have to take a week or two off for my bike. So that means I won't be riding during the last few days of the worst year in human history, at least to our recent recollection. But again, thanks to everyone that wished me a speedy recovery, took the time to watch all those videos, and if you haven't done so, make sure to hit the like on this video because that really changes the way that the YouTube algorithm works. So smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do so. In today's video, I will be continuing my Versus series. This time around, we're gonna be covering the USL BMX contest that dropped today at nine in the morning. It has 10 amazing parts by some of you guys' favorite riders. But in this particular installment, I wanna talk about one of the riders that I think is ironically the most slept on, which is the sleeper aka Ethan Courier from Huntington Beach, California. Now, I've been riding my bike for 20 years, and it's very rarely that you meet someone that's as charismatic, talented, humble, and cool as Ethan Courier. I've had the privilege of sessioning skate parks, street spots, going on the road with him, and seeing him interact with some of you guys, with other riders, and there's hardly anything negative you can say about the dude. And I think this contest itself, besides all the other parts that he's been filming over the last couple years, are gonna really set him over the top. He's going toe for toe with riders like Devin Smiley, Colin Varniark, and Chad Curley in the USL BMX edits. And he does that all with a smile, with a unique outlook. And as of lately, it's pretty hard to debate that anyone could surpass his crank arm prowess. So let's do a little deep dive into the video part, see what you guys think. Now, I don't wanna sway the votes or anything, but if you were to go drop some likes for my boy Ethan on the uslbmx.com website, I wouldn't exactly be too bummed if you did that, hint, hint. So let's just watch the video. I hope I don't get a copyright strike. The powers that be over at USL BMX actually sent me the edits, so hopefully I don't get a strike on my channel for playing it. But if you guys know me, I'm a gambling man. So let's roll the dice a little bit. Also, as a side note, Matt Ray and Ethan both usually have my favorite type of music when it comes to their writing parts. So that also goes a long way. And I mean, Matt Ray is on Sabrosa, so he also holds maybe a uh, second place finish on this contest if you uh, go over to uslbmx.com and vote. <laughs> I'm just gonna mute this for you guys' enjoyment. So this is hard, yeah. Ethan at the Sheldon Skate Park. That rail is a lot harder to ride because it's square. For the record, the day that Ethan and the USL dudes came over to the Sheldon Skate Park, I saw it on their story super early in the morning and I was like, bro, you know I'm the only one that's up at the butt crack of dawn and you didn't hit me. Number two, what are you doing out here? And then he hit me like six hours later with like, pull up. And I was like, what? Have you been in the skate park for six hours? And then it all made sense. Anyhow, back to the video. But Sheldon is probably one of the best street pauses in all of SoCal and he makes it look effortless. Look at that. Another thing, Ethan goes both ways, pause, and makes it look way too easy. Like he went any switch bars, anything, he'll spoon both ways, throw the bars both ways, down whips both ways. Whoo, them combos, man, that's a two piece with a drink. I've always been terrified of switch 180s onto rails. Yeah, that's not my thing. Oh, look at that. Yo, props to the dudes for filming this, man. It's so crispy. And it was not the nicest of days, so. Oh, look at that. As I said earlier, the crispiest Switch 180 down whips. Ice hards, man. I pff, Takes me hours to get one decent one. Man, stop playing with him. Man, crank arm god. Undisputed. Heavyweight champion of the crank arm. All right, I don't want to spoil any bangers or anything, so I'm going to make you guys go watch that over at uslbmx.com and vote. But I'm going to take this opportunity to, again, thank you guys for always supporting the channel, going and watching all the other content. 
I'm gonna be working on more pieces from my office here. So if there's anything you guys want me to cover as far as like maybe, and I've done this, I've talked about doing it in the past, but doing more of a little new segment. Now that we got this all situated, I'm really liking how it looks. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Also, what's your opinion? Out of all the parts you watched today, which is your favorite? And if you haven't watched the video parts, go to the USL YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe to them, check out all the content. They're gonna be working on a lot of cool stuff this year. And I already told them that I'm down to do a project. Who knows, maybe I'll bring back the rig ramps. We have a couple other ideas in the works. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys wanna see. And also go follow Ethan, because again, in my personal opinion, probably the most underrated slept on rider in Southern California. I think he has a really good chance to be one of the goats, definitely one of the best riders to come out of Huntington Beach. Don't at me. I just wanted to do this quick video, show a lot of support. As you guys know, unless you're new to this channel, that I'm a diehard BMX fan. I love everything about BMX and I love when someone brings something new to the table. So if there's anything I can do to support, I'm always there. So go check them out, uslbmx.com, usl on Instagram, usl on YouTube. Ethan Courier, my name again is Alfredo Mancuso. And if you uh, haven't done so, subscribe to the channel. If you're interested in business, anything else, make sure to check out my other channel, Alfredo Answers. And yeah, I guess this has been one big old plug, but what do you gotta do? Also, Sheepy Brand. If you guys wanna check out some new merch, sheepybrand.com. I don't even know how to say goodbye now. This is like a whole new thing. What color should I do the lights? So many questions. Last but not least, I'll be dropping a new video for my other channel, Alfredo Answers. So make sure to subscribe to that. Again, stocks, business, finance, anything like that that you have questions, ask me there. Also, give me some ideas for some Tech Thursdays or how to's. I'm running out of the ideas. Anytime I go to Epic, Foo has some good ones, but if I have to do them from home, I'm gonna need your guys' help. And you know I get down with y'all, so make sure to leave me a comment here or on Instagram, a DM, whatever you guys want, I answer it all. That's why it's Alfredo Answers. All right, I'm out. See ya. I was, Dude, hoping, this is sick. I was hoping the barrel adjuster would bust or something. <laughs> oh god, alright, let's do a poop video on this curb stop. <laughs> Your tire's also so low. <laughs> oh! <laughs> First ever a boobie Look at this. Come on. Don't play with me, come on. <laughs> I did one! He did it in a bubuka. Hey,